Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and it's almost the end of the month. It's getting pretty close to it anyway. And so today, I just realized this, right? No, it's Saturday, okay. Uh, I'm going to be going over what is going to be potentially coming for the next month of ago. Now, this is going to be a little bit weird because I feel like every, for the past three times I've done this video, I've gotten it, I think, pretty close to wrong, even though we have have, we know, we know what's coming up. <laughs> but I still, the, the last one wasn't wrong, but it was more like I didn't predict a lot of the stuff that was going to be coming forward, so... I guess I'll show what um, is going to be expected for this month, and then we can kind of speculate to see if there's anything else that could potentially come in this month. But that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like and subscribe and comment and tell me what you feel is coming up for this month. So the big one is obvious. The summer should be starting. We're already in the pre-release campaign, and they've already added a banner to the pre-release campaign, which is the insane huge mega bait banner that many people are summoning on because i released a video talking about like whoa there's a lot of good stuff on here and everyone was basically going fa so always a good sign of a bait working so this should be coming up and this should be pretty obvious it's caldea summer adventure and this should be coming up whenever you see the maintenance for it it's going to be there you only need the clear Fuyuki. It's a very, it's summer. It's a pretty uh, simple event. You're gonna be getting uh, Da Vinci right here, Summer Da Vinci. Unfortunately, the Lily version. Please, at some point, release the adult one as a summer unit. It's not fair. It's not fair. She never got one. And of course, there'll be plenty of banners to go along with this one in case you're not bannered out already. If you have any SQ left over after Lost Belt Six, and after the deluge of crazy banners that were not expected for NA. Well, congratulations, this is where they all come to die. This is where you'll uh, banner one, which features Okita, Anastasia, and Charlotte, which I've done a video kind of talking about them already. Uh, Achilles and Magikarta, which technically I guess I do talk about them in the same video as this one, but I more go like not a lot of people are going to be summoning for Achilles, even though he is pretty good. Um, he's he's always in every banner, so there's a chance for him to spook you. But also, you could just pick him up with a free SSR ticket down the line if you badly wanted him. But, you know, in case you're someone, maybe you want more MP copies, this is definitely for you. It is a little bit weird during summer, but hey, do you. And then there's other upcoming banners also coming in here, for which is Kama Avenger, Kainus Rider, and Sei uh, Shogun. Sh not Shonen. I always get this screwed up. Shonagen? Say okay, Berserker. I also say her name wrong because I think I'm saying Say, but it's supposed to be Sai. S E I. I don't know. Someone corrected me once, but I don't remember. Berserker. All the summer units coming here, and this banner is also highly anticipated, with many people waiting for Kama Avenger, and even more people waiting for them to release a Spiriton dress for Kama Avenger related to the story events in this summer uh, story, which we will you'll see when you actually play it. And then finally, we have Summer 3, which is uh, the fourth banner in Summer and also very good, which features Doman and Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus is kind of like a unit that you kind of get. Uh, he's super hard to get because he's story lock limited, which is an insane... It's an insane level of limited <laughs> that is only reserved for a slight number of units. And Doman is absolutely uh, amazing as a unit, and also a very, very popular among many people who are a big fan of this man right here. Also coming next year for summer, but uh, for the people who are hyper dedicated for him, I guess you would get one copy here and then one copy a year later. Maybe. Who knows? But yeah, that's what summer. Those are the banners related to it, and that should be coming, and that should take up a vast majority of September. This was from September 8th to 29th in JP. So that what that is like what one two three four it's four weeks <laughs> four weeks of September is likely going to be fully dedicated to this summer adventure here which is good the more time you have to grind for a summer event the better I'd say but there's some other stuff potentially coming in September and that uh, the potential other stuff is the interlude campaign and in the interlude campaign there should be a summon banner related to it. Which will feature Okita, uh, Alter, and Van Gogh, and none of the other ones that are featured on here. Interesting. The dudes that are getting interludes are, of course, uh, Abuki, Okita, uh, Vritra, I keep forgetting how to say your name, Charlotte, Van Gogh, and Okita Alter, with um, both Okitas getting, and looks like to me, NP upgrades, I think. 
Was this really an upgrade to your MP? No, it wasn't. Okay, this was a skill upgrade then. To interlude. Oh wow, really? This is our first interlude? That's crazy. Uh, to Prayerless Blade A, and then for Kita Alter, this has to be a skill too. Uh, don't show me Solomon. Solomon, my son, why are you showing me that? Okay, to alter. Mm, and this will likely be for... That's strengthening two, strengthening one. Interlude one. There we go. It's a increase to Boundless A+. Plus. So there you go. Those two are getting buff. Very nice. And the summoning campaign, which again features Van Gogh and Okita. This is very mean, because I had actually forgotten in my mind that this is when Van Gogh comes back. <laughs> I actually would really like Van Gogh, but I think after summer I'm not going to have any Saint Quartz left over. It's a miracle I have any ready for summer as is, uh, but they're all leaving me once summer hits. And Okita Alter I already have, so I'm perfectly content with how many I have currently. I'll just be happy to have her buff. And then some other campaigns are going to be related, which is basically, hey, two tickets on day one of the login and day five, which is nice. Next, we already got this, but I also heard that we couldn't get this, so I think we already got this. We got something related to Multiplayer due to Evo, so let me just look at that real quick. But I'm pretty sure that's what counts for this, and we're not getting this, because the banner related to this was basically the same from that. So let's look back real quick. Uh, when did it happen on NA? I'm not crazy. This happened at some point. Or maybe I am crazy. When the fuck did this happen? There it is. Okay, okay. Oof. Oof. But yeah, the banner related to this looked like uh, this and this one right here basically the same actually it's not the same no we already had this banner i think that okay that's what is it we already had this banner a long time ago so we can't get this banner and the banner we got related to melty blood was here already so we're not getting this banner again there you go finally figured it out bingo bongo i summoned rongo so likely not to get this and then at the beginning of october which is quickly bleeding into our end of september most likely is going to be a Halloween comeback campaign, which is going to be a Halloween look back and some cool stuff related to Halloween because Halloween finally comes back this year and we'll be able to have a whole bunch of nice things related to it again. And we're going to have all the Liz's come back. That's right, in full force. We got we got Brave Liz, we got Regular Liz, who's always been here and never left us. We got Caster Liz, who finally gets a skill upgraded because she's needed one since maybe a year after she released. And both of the mechas, Liz's, are also getting upgraded, too. Uh, we already have their full screen MP, I'm pretty sure, but the WXP campaign for your, all your Liz needs will be there. And then these two Cs will be added to the Vinci shop um, that were related to the Liz's. There'll be a login, there'll be enhancement campaigns, all that you need to kind of get ready for the new upcoming Halloween event, which will feature Elizabeth on it. Now, is it possible for them to release this maybe a little bit later so it probably actually aligns perfectly with Halloween for us? Uh, yes, actually, because the actual Halloween event happens around October 20th, and this is just the return of the Halloween trilogy. So yeah, that's 100% very much likely, but there you go. I think at most the beginning of the Halloween comeback campaign will bleed into a little bit at the end of September. And that's kind of what this month is looking like now. As I said at the beginning, now this is the part where it's just pure speculation. Uh, because it's been happening a lot lately where we've been getting a lot of banners that we're just not expected to, for us to be getting. And I feel like that's not ending anytime soon. Obviously the big one, the next big one that I would expect would, would be a surprise would be November for NA. Because NA around November is when we do um, Thanksgiving. So that's when the Thanksgiving type special will be coming out. And that's when I would expect the next time we get a banner featuring a bunch of units on here. But in terms of summer, would they really want to... We already have so many banners related to summer. Would they really just release more of them? I'm actually kind of surprised that we never got Ibuki cam kind That Ibuki was not related to this interlude campaign at all. So it makes me feel like maybe they could add Ibuki to this banner. I mean, there's nothing really stopping them from saying, Hey, we'll have a day for Ibuki and we'll have a day for Okita. 
it's actually insane now that I look at this. All these cars, all the people who got an upgrade at Interlude were five stars. And only two of them were actually featured on the summoning campaign. So maybe they could bring these back. And just be like, okay, yeah, Van Gogh's back, Okita Alter's back, Okita Regular is back. Vitra is also back to be summoned because I don't think she ever got a repeat banner because they skipped her, her year. Um, at least for NA side, we're not getting it this year. Um, and Ibuki, she'll also be maybe brought back. I know, if, I'm pretty sure Ibuki's also tied to maybe a future banner, so maybe they can't do that for her. Because it'd be a little bit weird. Uh, if I remember right, I think it's a download campaign is what she's related to that's coming up in the future. I think, anyway. Uh... Yeah, see, we're getting here closer to November. So they probably don't want to bring her back there. So we won't get her there. But I could definitely see the other five stars coming back. Why not feature them? I've kind of... Uh, tossed away the idea of them not bringing back multiple SSRs because after that summer banner featuring six returning SSR limiteds from summer it kind of makes me feel like any number of them can kind of come back whenever you least expect it to and for this month it's looking pretty late when all of it's really going to be focused around summer and not much else um so I think yeah, I think that would make sense for the interlude campaign. They could also just do more, bring back the other summer servants that were five stars that were not featured on there, because not all of them were. Um, some of them weren't featured because uh, they had already come back. Like, um, there's no reason to feature Summer Nero because she literally just came back a little while ago. So why would you summon her again? Um, but let's see, yeah, this is the year one, year two, Summer Nero. Year three had BB Summer and... Hmm... Would they bring them all back, though? I think it'd be interesting to do it. I think they could. I don't know what's actually stopping them. In, in a weird way, I don't know what actually stops... Um... Fago from ever bringing back any of their swimsuit units during summertime. It's kind of weird how long... It just takes a long break for a lot of these dudes to come back. But, you know, I could see, except for, I guess Nero Summer actually being on a banner pretty recently is probably what stops all of them from coming back. And maybe next year is when they start filling them out for all of them. Because uh, they could definitely do that. Yeah, I don't know what's stopping them from attempting to do that. Like someone mentioned, I think Jean being not being featured as a little weird Summer Jean. Because she is the same one that is on BB Summer. Um, and the reason is, is because she's coming up. So maybe, hmm... I don't know, maybe. It'd be interesting. <sighs> but yeah, that's what the, this month is looking like. So, uh, surprisingly a chill month for what is known because all of it is just related to summer. So if you're not care, if you give no crap about summer other than doing the event and not giving a single crap about actually summoning on any of the banners, and this is a really light month for you. All you need to do is sit back, enjoy the story, and just kind of... Uh, you know keep saving up for much crazier stuff i know likely a lot of people are going to be saving up still for january to deal with um the other bitch so and let's not forget the there is at least one other big thing coming near the end of here and that is the 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 banner which features where is she i forget she is december or curly she might be related to this one where is she no not here Summoning campaign? Is it here? Yes! This is where Millicent comes back. Near the end of uh, December, when we start moving towards the main quest, clear ca aid campaign stuff. I know plenty of people who are probably like, I would uh, attempt to try for her again. And I think this is where I actually said, I'm skipping her in the initial go for, and I'm going to go for her when she comes back. Completely forgetting she comes back in a couple months <laughs> time later. It's not a lot of time to save. And then you have to think about all the other stuff that are potentially on the way too. But thankfully it doesn't look like it's too much. I think the only thing I care from here uh, is Nobia, who is thankfully a 4. And if I miss her, she is going to be featured on the 4 SSR 4 SR ticket later on. I really do like Guda Guda, but I think that only one I'm really super interested this year would be for Ryoma. The 5 star Ryoma. And not feeling too much about uh, Izumo no Okuni over here yet. But also, I feel like that will change if I saw it in the story. So, we'll see. 
But that's it for this month. That's how it's looking. Tell me how you feel about it. Tell me what you're prepared for. Uh, the vast majority of us are preparing for summer, but if you're not preparing for summer, uh, tell me what you're preparing for. It's interesting to hear what... At this point, a lot of people are either I'm full ready for summer or they're going I've already in my mind blocked out summer because I'm not summoning and it's time to prepare for the next big uh, saving height hunt. But that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!